Okay, for this video what we're going to do is we're um, given a Venn diagram and we're going to use this Venn diagram to find many different situations. Um, a lot of times they will set it up visually using the Venn diagram and then you have to be able to interpret the Venn diagram and pull the important information out. So the first thing that it asks us to find is all of the elements that are just in set A. So for set A, what I want to do is look at circle um, look at the white circle here and find any number that is contained anywhere inside of there. Typically we write it in order from smallest to largest. So we can see that inside of this one we have 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, and 11. Okay, and that's all you have to do. For set B, we're looking at all of the numbers that are contained inside of the pink circle. So we can see that we have 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, for the next one, for you, it's looking for anything inside of the rectangle. So with this, what we have is the numbers 1 through 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So anything inside of the purple box, even if it's contained in set A or B. So we have everything from 1 through 11. All right, and you know what? Let me fix that. Let me just scroll over just a little bit. So we'll just put the 10 and the 11 up here. All right, so for the next one, remember that this symbol right here, that the upside down U is and. So we are looking for the numbers that are both in circle A and in circle B. So that's just this area right in here. So we would look at this overlap area would be our values that are both in A and B. So we would say that it's 2 and 7. So those are the numbers and you can see up here that both 2 and 7 are the only two numbers that they have in common. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong two. A and B. 2 and 7 are the only two that they have in common. B has all of them in common. All of them can be found in the universal set. All right, moving on. The next symbol that we have is the or symbol. So this, remember, is the um, union, which means or. So if it's in either circle A or B or both, it doesn't matter. So anything that's contained inside one, the white circle and or the pink circle. So we would go through, we can see that basically it's everything in our universal set except for 4 and 10. 4 and 10 are the only ones that are not in either one of these two circles. So we would write down that it's 1, 2, 3. We would skip 4 because it's on the outside. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11. Squeeze over just a little bit more. I didn't leave myself enough room. All right, for the next one, we are looking for not in A and not in B. Remember that this is read as not in A. So if you wanted to, what you could do is you could find not A, all of the values that are not in A. This is one way of doing it, is we could find A not um, so all of these numbers here are in A, so the ones that are not are 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10. And then we could also find those that are not in B. And so if we look at this one, that would be everything that's um, just in this part here, or the 4 and the 10. So we would have 1, 4, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then we would look for the ones that they have in common. So we can see that 4 and 10 are the only ones that they have in common. Or you could just look at the values that are on the outside of both A and B. Um, so 4 and 10 are the only ones on the outside of both of those. For this one here, this is the difference between the two sets. 
And then a minus b, just so that I can write this down and then I'll go back up. a minus b is we are looking for all of the elements in A, but not also in B. So what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for just this region out here. So basically what we're doing is we're looking for this region out here. We're looking for those values that are in A, but not also in B. So that would be the 1, the 8, the 9, and the 11. Okay, and then the last one that we have, I know I covered quite a bit in this one, it just makes it easier so I don't have to redraw everything out. Um, the last one that we have is we have um, A minus B naught. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to look at the elements in A, the 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, and 11, and we're going to look at this one here, the B naught. So we're going to find all of those that are not, so this is hard to read because we're looking for all elements in A, but not also in B not, which is like a double not. Um, so if we wanted to look at these two sets right here, we could look at A and we could look at B not. We can see that one is in both of them, so we can cross those out. Okay, um, four is in B, but it's not an A. So we're just looking in A. So we can see that two, sorry, we can see that two is in A, but not in B not. Okay, seven is in A, but not in B not. Eight, nine, and 11 are also in B not. So our answer to this one would just be 2 and 7. So we're looking for all elements in A, but not also in the set B naught. Okay, so 2 and 7. So this happens to be the overlap between A and B is really what we're looking for. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.